the injectable oleate that we talked about yesterday with these dramatic effects on tumors, the sublingual oleate that Dr. Bresci will probably mention in the afternoon yesterday at dinner, it offers some dramatic results on other individuals with autism that was almost completely resolved with sublingual oleate, the food-based GCMAF that you taste the next to the coffee machine, and also GCMAF for topical use as mouthwash or suppositories depending on the need. Now, I wish to draw your attention for the last uh, 5 to 10 minutes about the food-based GCMAF, the probiotic yogurt uh, naturally rich in GCMAF. How did we come to this uh, type of invention and why food-based GCMAF? Well, yesterday I told you that GCMAP has to be considered, rather than a drug, an essential nutrient. And in a formulating the Bravo probiotic, we were inspired by the way that nature has to confer powerful immunity to mama newborns, and we hypothesized that GCMAP could be produced in a common kitchen. Uh, this is not a very common kitchen, it's taken from Wikipedia, and unfortunately it's not my kitchen, but uh, you don't need to have such a luxurious kitchen to produce GCMAF. Uh, we have projects underway in Africa where you can produce it in any kitchen as long as it is clean. Uh, we studied that there are certain strains of microbes and bacteria that produce the very same enzymes that 20 years ago Professor Yamamoto discovered were part of the physiological conversion of the inert precursor of GCMAF, which is called GC protein, into the active GCMAF. What we learned is that GC protein is not present only in blood, it is also present in milk and in colostrum. Then the trick was simple. Find the right combination of microbes that will release the same enzymes, essentially the galactosidase and the cyanidase, that will convert the GC protein in colostrum and milk into active GCMAF that is now, in this moment, if there is something left, in those uh, vials of yogurt next to the coffee machine. So we had to work a lot, do more than 300 experiments before we could reach the right ratio of the different strains that grow at different rates. But in the end, we have this product. And of course, you may wonder, well, this is a food, and GCMAF is a protein, so it will all be destroyed in the stomach, and nothing will be absorbed. Correct? You know, a little bit of physiology, but maybe you have not read that the highest concentration of macrophages is not in the gut, is not in the stomach, it is in the so-called Valdias Hegelop tonsillar ring, whether you have tonsils or not, and there is a reason for this. This is the first line of defense that our body has against everything that we eat, drink, or breathe. Therefore, uh, when you keep that Bravo probiotic, uh, you don't swallow it immediately, but you keep it in your mouth and you uh, garble as a mouthwash, then you stimulate all the macrophages that are here. And as I told you, this is where there is the highest concentration, it is called mouth mucous associated lymphoid tissue. And if you read the, the histology book in, in some greater detail, you will learn that macrophages can recirculate. That means they go into the bloodstream, they go where they are needed, and they take care of the problem wherever the problem is. In addition to this, the brown probiotic has been formulated so to re-establish the healthy human gut microbiome. Microbiome is the new word for what was called the floral, bacterial flora of the gut. This is a clinical case of an Austrian gentleman suffering of colon cancer. He had been operated and now he had multiple lung metastases. He was undergoing chemotherapy with this new monoclonal antibody. And during chemotherapy, because these things can be done together with, not as an alternative to, during chemotherapy he consumed this Bravo probiotic. During chemotherapy, you know that chemotherapy by itself depresses the immune system, but in this gentleman, the CD4, which are specific cells of the immune system, are those that are decreased in AIDS, rose 
instead of decreasing from 625 to 829 while undergoing chemotherapy. So this clearly demonstrates that this type of probiotic rich in GCMAF counteracts the side effects of chemotherapy on the immune system and also on the symptoms. No diarrhea, no vomiting, no problems. But also it's interesting, uh, this was kind of an in vitro check of its GCMAF activity, that the monocytes increased from 372 to 432, and this is perfectly consistent with what Yamamoto had written in 1998, quoting the effects of GCMAF on monocyte or macrophage precursor proliferation. Of course, in this case, since we were talking about cancer, we were not only interested in the effects of GCMAF on the immune system, but also on the effects of GCMAF, again in this case as a probiotic, on the cancer itself. Uh, as a radiologist, I like lab parameters only to a limited extent. That's why I'm, I will go fast on this. The carcinoid biogenic antigen, which is a tumor marker, decreased from 64 to 5. The C-reactive protein, which is a marker of inflammation, decreased from 5.9 to 2. Fibrinogen, which again is a very general inflammatory marker, decreased. And the neutrophil cells, neutrophil again, cells involved with inflammation decreased. But as a radiologist, I'm much more excited in reading these reports in German, that for those of you, maybe Martin can help me understand the German, eine große Regredit means a significant reduction in the size of the tumors. That zuletzt means before it was 56 mm, point today. 48 millimeters, and then a few months later, 46 millimeters. This makes a reduction in terms of volume of 45% of a lung metastasis. Is this due to the GCMAF? Is this due to the chemotherapy? I don't know, and essentially I do not care. What I know is that in this patient, a reduction of lung metastasis has been observed within three or four months thanks, maybe to the combined effect, of modern chemotherapy and food-based GCMAP. According to Dr. Jeff Bresslitt, this probiotic is much more than a probiotic and he scolded us for having called it a bravo probiotic because according to him, it's a transplant, it's a daily transplant of this organ, which is the human microbiome. You know that our liver is about 1.5 kilos of weight, the human microbiome is about 2 kilos of weight. It's a new organ, it's a virtual organ that my anatomist did not discover. So it's a new organ that we have, well actually it's a very old one organ, but it has been only recently discovered. But it's very difficult to have a daily transplantation of liver or kidney, but you can have a daily transplantation of the human microbiome and so Dr. Jeff Bresset prefers to call it a new ecosystem, not merely a probiotic. And how is it possible that probiotic influences are so deeply brain functions? Well, this is not a new knowledge. In 2010, in this journal entitled Brain Behavior and Immunity, they published a review, which has a double sense in English, mood and gut feelings, and they clearly write that it may be that we need to change the focus from the brain and look at the role of the gut in what have been traditionally, uh, traditionally been thought of as brain-based disorders. So we now know that we have at least two other brains in addition to the one that is inside our skull. One is the brain that is formed by the neurons in our gut and the number of neurons in our gut, Professor Pacini, who is an anatomist and published a seminal paper on this topic, would tell you that there are more neurons in our gut than in our brain, in the skull, so this is the second brain. And the third brain are the microbes in our gut, and not only that, that produce neurotransmitters which influence all neurons, both in the gut and in the brain. Uh, we are very close to the end. Jeff Preston and myself, we receive emails like this on a daily basis. 
And this is to counteract the criticism. Oh, there is milk, cow milk, cow milk is bad, allergies, all autistic children have allergies to everything. Okay, let's read this one. Uh, forget the gratitude. Our son has been on probiotic for six months now, and we have seen such a big improvement. When they say probiotic, they mean this bravo probiotic. We don't know how common is taking probiotics in small kids. Our son just turned two years old. Neither how common is trying probiotic in high allergic kids as our son. He's allergic to almost everything, drugs and food, including milk. But it's wonderful how bravo probiotic, being a milk product, is taking care of his allergies. So please do not be afraid of witches. Bravo probiotic is used to take care of allergies. And it is made of cow milk, you cannot make of vegetable milk. It has to be made from mammal milk, so if you don't like cows, you can go to goats, you can go to uh, donkeys, uh, camels, uh, humans, uh, whatever, but it has to be mammal, because only in mammal milk there is a GC protein. Uh, this is very long, so I'll make it short. Uh, dear doctor, this was not addressed to me, uh, this was addressed to a caring physician. We have been using GC mafiolus for my son for three months now. I even wouldn't be surprised if his uh, autism syndrome had been actually triggered by some sort of dysfunction of the GI tract. If problem has started in a gut, it is what needs to be fixed first. From everything I read, GC mafiolus was the best candidate of doing just that. Besides, it's other very important property, of course. I felt like his GI function has been normalizing. <coughs> I kept the email as it is with the spelling mistakes. And then he goes on and says, with his gut improving, everything started improving. His mood, his awareness, his physical stamina. He acquired more balance. I actually started doing yoga with this. It was not possible before due to the absence of balance. And these are the neuronal, neuronal effects. The clarity of his speech improved. I could even see how his appearance has been changing. His tongue looks healthy. The white stuff that used to cover his tongue is gone. No wonder this bravo probiotic works beautifully in all inflammatory bowel disease, in all mouth and throat diseases. Black circles from under his eyes have been gradually disappearing, probably. He's starting acting like a typical eight-year-old boy. For example, he used to be full of fears, would never go to any kind of ride, even a baby ride in the park. Now he loves rides so much, we even got seasonal passes to this water park. He rides all the big boy rides and he's not afraid to go by himself, something that was unthinkable before. Another thing is that, name, boy's name, became extremely resistant to any kind of viral infection. No wonder you are re-establishing his immune system. Several times during this time everybody around him picked up some viral bugs and got high fever for at least a week. Not this boy. He did get a bug, got a bit of fever on the first day, I came back to normal the very next day. Let's forget about autism, let's go back to chronic fatigue syndrome. This is a doctor in Austria who treats patients uh, who speak German, of course, as it is written below, for CFS and other diseases, and he writes me and uh, Professor Pacini another nice feedback. So this means he has, she has had more than one. This man has recovered completely from CFS and he wants to continue. And then if you understand some German, this is what uh, Hallo Frau, what uh, the guy wrote in German to this doctor. I cannot understand the details, but uh, I trust the doctor who says that he is completely recovered from CFS. The next three or four pictures, which are the last one, are kind of a strong ones. So you're not all doctors, so please do not be overly impressed. This is an email that a doctor working in the San Francisco Bay Area sent me. He had received this email from a patient of his, so from his patient to the doctor, and the patient says to the doctor, Hi doctor. The subject is Antibus <coughs> pictures after taking the probiotic yogurt. At that, at that time it was a, still called MF314, but that time it was only June 2013. Pemphigus is an autoimmune disease of the whole body with maximal extrication on the skin. So this patient says, hi doctor, I attached some pictures of my feet taken before I started taking MAF and the probiotic yogurt, and now. 
Please note that this shiny appearance on the after picture is not any kind of discharge. The picture were taken after T3 oil was applied. What do you think? I think the difference is amazing. And the skin on my upper body looks great. I want to thank you again for your generosity. I'm really healing, and it is not just my feet. When I was covered in blisters, I also had very painful blisters in my throat. And until very recently, even though I no longer had any blisters, my throat was not right. It was sensitive, and eating some foods was difficult. Now my throat is fine, and the only difference is MAFO. Uh, please be prepared. These are not nice pictures. This is the feet. Before. You can see all the skin lesions. Before, you can see the skin lesions. So he's not taking any other remedy, but only the probiotic yogurt. And these are the results. So this story ends well. So you can see the extreme healing almost enormous. Conclusions. GCMAF, in all its different forms, is a very powerful tool. It's not the most powerful tool in the therapy of a variety of conditions. It rebalances the immune system, as it was first demonstrated 20 years ago, no doubt about this. But we also know now that it improves neuronal metabolism, it shows neuroprotective effects. Now, with these new molecules that we are designing, can be administered by injections, as in the past, even though now it is about 200 for more potent, or as sublingual drops, nasal sprays, or as a food product that again you can taste on the outside. And, most important, unlike or at variance with what uh, the old Professor Yamamoto had said 20 years ago, it can be administered in these new forms together with other treatments, so you do not, uh, do not have to renounce to any other treatment that works for you or for your patients. And we have, at this point, uh, no more preliminary, we have definitive evidence indicating that it shows synergistic effects with other treatments. And we and the RATS and my group thank you for your patience and attention. Thank you very much. Are there any questions? Yes, Mohamed. Uh, thank you for this uh, very informative and interesting you mentioned about the transcranial stronger uh, to get the GCMF cost for the brain barrier. Now, what about the dosing uh, you have to give to keep that amount of data? And also, I decided for such procedure from your opinion. Uh, okay, <clears throat> first of all, let me tell you that GCMF works in autism independently of the ultrasonography. The ultrasonography is just an additional trick that we may have to improve its function. And vice versa, the ultrasonography works by itself. There are patents on the ultrasonography to counteract a number of neurological disorders by itself, without GCMA. Of course, you can combine the two things. About its safety, together with Jeff Presley, when we published this uh, paper, when we submitted this paper, hopefully will be published soon, of course, uh, we were asked for this question. We reviewed the entire literature on ultrasonography of the past uh, 40 years. So there are something like uh, five or six millions of children from uterus until uh, uh, adolescence treated with ultrasounds. Never, never, never any statistical significant correlation with any type of disease or side effect. So I feel to state here clearly and loudly that ultrasonography is a completely safe procedure for children from the embryo, well not the embryo, but the fetus stage to whatever. Uh, what about the blood-brain barrier? Also this is not a new knowledge. Uh, there are patented devices that are used in hospitals to vehiculate, to, be, to and chemotherapeutic drugs pass through the blood-brain barrier thanks to ultrasound. So if you have a, a brain tumor and you want to administer a conventional chemotherapeutic drug that does not cross the blood-brain barrier, 
uh, there are patented devices commonly used in hospitals that uh, transiently open the blood-brain barrier so that the chemotherapy can go into the brain and hopefully take care of the tumor. So also this is not a, a new technique. What is new are the details of application so that instead of having implanted ultrasound on the skull, which is kind of difficult, you can do this now easily at the patient's bed or we can do this in the other room, in the demonstration room uh, this afternoon. So what is new is not the ultrasounds, we do not invent the ultrasounds, it is not new the effects of the ultrasounds on the neurons or on the blood-brain barrier, all this has been validated to save what is new is the application of this technique to autism and the synergy with GC okay. <coughs> Yes, yes. or preference, it depends on the individual patient and I like the way Martin Stopper yesterday said, I follow my gut. But he said it's a stomach, I think in English you say you follow your gut. It depends. For example, let's assume you have a patient with a, uh, irritable bowel disease or inflammatory bowel disease. I would use the probiotic GCMAF together with suppositories of GCMAF and if it works fine, otherwise it would add intramuscular or intravenous GCMAF. If I have a patient with stage 4 cancer, well, I do not mess that much with the probiotic GCMAF. I try to inject as much GCMAF as I can into the tumor or around the tumor. Then, of course, as a nutritional supplement, I would also use the probiotic, but more for its probiotic and nutritional properties rather than for its immune stimulating properties. If I have a patient with CFS, it depends on the severity of the disease, on the severity of the gut symptoms and whatever. So now we have a wide array of products that are very flexible and flexible and allow us to exploit them to the most. What is important and interesting is that you can combine, then you as a physician, you decide which is the best approach to that individual patient and most likely the best approach to that individual patient will not work on the next patient in your office. Sorry, I'm not a physician, so I just wanted to know in terms of autism, uh, have you noticed any better subs between bio or probiotics? Again, it's very individual. Just yesterday, Dr. Bressrit, uh, after 15 hours of flying, uh, told us that in some kids he sees, the, he sees the best effects with injectable, in other kids he sees the best effects with the probiotic, in some kids he has to combine the two. So it's extremely individual. Thank you. Please. Uh, which strains of bacteria are in the bravo uh, Well, you, you may ask Coca-Cola which is the formula of Coca-Cola and probably they will tell you that there is a sugar, caramel, and natural dyes, I will tell you the same. It's an intellectual property. Yes, please. In your micro race studies, looking at the genes. Uh, can you please uh, use the microphone, otherwise, I have difficulty in hearing you. In your micro array studies, looking at the gene effects of GCMAP, are you seeing any? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. The only problem is that, uh, as yet, we don't know uh, what is due uh, to vitamin D, what is due to GCMAP, what is due to the two of them together, or to neither of them together. But yes, we do. And by the way, this uh, was ex was uh, expected. Uh, you mentioned the neuropathy improved with CFS after using this. Neuropathy improved with CFS after using GCMA. Have you ever been tried for diabetes? For diabetes? Neuropathy. Uh, no. Uh, this is a very good point, yes. and uh, this will be our next uh, project uh, because we know that uh, diabetes is uh, uh, on the rise, not only in this part of the world, but uh, almost everywhere. 
but uh, we don't know. I assume, I hypothesize that since it works uh, in neuropathy, it should work also in diabetic uh, associated neuropathy, but I have no clinical evidence and no experimental evidence on this.
um, who are talking more about the effects of um, GC math on autism.